Hi everyone, I'm Diane Mantiga and I'm a cooking instructor and a personal chef. My grandmother Francesca came over from Italy and brought all of her family recipes. As a child, I cooked by her side and learned her techniques. I'm so happy to be able to share all of these secrets and tips with you. Welcome to my Italian kitchen. We're going to make an orange and fennel salad today. And it's from Sicily, and this is a salad that I make for my clients quite often. I'm going to show you how to cut a navel orange um, so it looks really pretty for your salad. And I also have um, a bulb of fennel today. There's different ways of cutting this. I'm going to show you how to take out the root and how to cut off the fronds and how to slice it very thinly for our salad. So we have a navel orange um, and they're great because they're seedless. So I'm going to grab one of those and get a good sharp knife and we're going to cut all of the skin off of the orange. Um, I'll show you a technique that I know how to do and hopefully you'll be able to do that too. So here's my orange and I'm going to slice the end off first. Okay, make sure you can see the flesh of the um, orange um, and I'm going to cut the other end off. So now let me take my orange and keep it on the board and grab my chef knife. Make sure you've got a sharp knife and I'm going to start going inward here. So I start slicing and as I'm getting to the bottom of the orange, I'm arc arcing my knife, arching my knife to the bottom. Okay, so let's do that. And then um, I can clean this orange up afterwards. So if I have any pith on it, I can definitely um, get that taken care of after I do this initial slicing of the skin. So I also take a look at the underside and I can see that I've really got to get that off. Okay. So now I have my orange ready to go. So um, I'm going to slice this in thin slices, probably about one inch in diameter, and we're going to keep them whole instead of sectioning them off. It's gorgeous on the plate, and it's easy to eat too. So I'm turning my orange to the side, and here I go. That's about a half an inch. You can get them a little bit thinner. And don't worry about the center. It's soft enough to eat. Okay, so here we are with our fresh fennel bulb. And uh, a lot of people don't know how to tackle this, and hopefully after you watch this, you'll be a pro. So there are these fronds, and they're really yummy to um, saute up or put in a stock, but we're not going to use them. They're a little bit chewy for our salad. Okay, so place your uh, fennel on the board, and now we want to get rid of those fronds. So I'm slicing them off. Okay, and put those aside. And like I said, you can use these for a stock in the future. So I'm just going to, uh, sometimes you need to trim a little bit of, you know, bruised areas off of your fennel, which I already did. But you can see that there's a root here, a core, and it's a little bit bitter, so we want to get rid of that. So I'm going to take my chef knife and cut right through. And we're going to quarter this, okay? Either that or you know, you can remove that fennel um, uh, core right now. So why don't we do that? We're going to slice in at an angle. It's sort of triangular shaped, and we're going to get that right out of there. And you could even put this in your stock, too. Let me go to a paring knife, because they're easier to do detail work with. So let me get that out. Grab it with your uh, fingers and do a very, very paper-thin slice. And in Italy, um, people eat fennel all the time in between their dinners so that they can refresh their taste buds. So you could try that sometime. Or you could just serve this on a plate during dinner with some olive oil drizzled on it, some extra virgin olive oil and some salt and pepper. And it's really yummy and very refreshing. 
Okay, so here's our fennel all ready to go, and I'm gonna put that aside. And the next thing we're gonna do is grab some baby arugula. You could use baby spinach, you can use baby greens, whatever you really like. But baby arugula is very peppery and it has a real reverse flavor um, with the orange. So your orange is kind of sweet and your balsamic vinegar will be very sweet. So they're a really great combination. Bring it on over and I've got a really nice plate um, that I'm going to put this on. And I'm a personal chef, so I've gotten used to I've gotten used to portioning for people, well, particularly in catering when I do that. So the rule of thumb is usually one big handful of lettuce or baby arugula or whatever per person. So that's a great way to figure out how you want them to um, have a you know a decent portion to eat. So here I am, grabbing my baby arugula. It's already pre-washed. You buy these and they're pre-washed all the time. Okay, and you know, that's just a little bit more than a handful. It's about the oranges and it's about the fennel too. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside. And the next thing I'm going to do is slice a red onion. And a red onion is a salad onion. It's very sweet and um, I love eating it raw and it's also great to cook with. The red onion, I'm going to um, show you a bit how to take off the uh, skin. I think everybody knows it. I believe in cutting off the, um, the stems first, you know, the root, because you never know if there's a little bit of dirt in it, and it's kind of great to get that off first. So get both ends off first. Okay, and we'll put this aside. Let's get the skin off as much as we can before we have to use a knife to finish that off. So I use a little paring knife to score the skin and that really loosens it up. So you can see a little tiny cut in there and I'm gonna grasp it and kind of yank that off. And um, you know, if you don't get it the first time, you might have to go back and do a little bit of work on it, but it should pretty much come off like this did. You know, I have a little bit there, but actually that's very edible. And now we're going to cut this in half. I cut through the core of an onion and I don't cut it that way always. And you can certainly store the other half for recipes that you're making. Okay, you don't want um, very thick pieces because it'll be uncomfortable for people to eat. Okay, so we have enough here. I've also, I can cut this down just a little bit, but I don't want to chop it. I want it to sit on top of the salad in pieces like this. Okay, so our next step will be to uh, chop some pistachios. I'm putting my onion aside and I'm just going to push this over and grab some pistachios. So these are the pistachios that I buy and they're already toasted and salted. So um, I like to buy them that way, although you can toast them yourself in a saute pan or in the oven. But here, let me just grab, I don't know, probably a tablespoonful at the most. I'm just making one salad right now for your demo here. And so I'm just gonna rough chop them. If you have a little food processor too, you can pulse them in that food processor. So that's up to you, but you can keep them um, kind of large. This salad is also great with toasted pine nuts. So you have like a choice of nuts to put on this. Toasted almonds would be delicious too. Okay, so I think that's really enough. And I like to push things into the center and chop them um, as they spread out, and then you can concentrate the chop. All right, so now let's put the salad together, and then we'll dress it at the end. I don't pre-dress it ahead of time, like toss the ingredients in a bowl. I like to drizzle them over the top. So let me pull my baby arugula plate over. Here's the navel oranges, and I'm going to take them and dot them around. You can lay them on top of each other. You can um, do anything you want. Okay, we'll put this one in the middle. And you can tuck a few here and there too. 
like if you've got some extra pieces. Okay, and then there's that and that. And then comes the fennel. Just take some really thin slices and pop it on top of the oranges. It's a nice crunchy salad too. Okay, so we're almost there. So now let's take our red onion and put a little bit of that on top. We don't really need to overkill, but just enough. You could also use some scallions on this. Okay, and here comes the final topping, which is our pistachios. And that really looks beautiful. And in Sicily, you know, pistachios rule. They are a nut that is used all the time, also almonds. And um, they're delicious, and you can put them in cookies or, you know, use them for savory foods like this. So the next thing, the final thing, is to drizzle this with some extra virgin olive oil and some balsamic vinegar, and then top that off with some black pepper and a touch of sea salt. So I have some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm gonna generously drizzle all over the salad. I'll go back and forth, and it's okay if some of it gets onto the plate. There. And you know, you can always put this on the table and have people add to the dressing if they want. I probably have a good tablespoon in there. Okay, so pop that to the side. And now I have an aged balsamic vinegar. This is, um, I think it's about 10 years old. And when balsamic vinegars are old, they thicken up. And so they always say 11 years is the way to go, 11 and onward. So this makes it really pretty and you can see it's almost syrupy too and it gives just a gorgeous look to it. Okay, and then um, a little bit of ground black pepper. And just a touch of salt. And I love to use sea salt or kosher salt because it's very pure and doesn't have iodine in it. So a little tiny sprinkle. So there's the Sicilian orange and fennel salad on baby arugula. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun and I hope you learned something and I hope to see you again in my Italian kitchen.